Today I will show you how to sculpt this low poly rock in Blender. Let's start by adding a cube, S to scale, Z by Z axis, Shift D to duplicate, move it to the side, again scale by Z axis, R to rotate, RR to rotate freely, something like that. Then again duplicate the mesh, rotate, scale, and repeat those steps until you are happy with the base rock shape. After you are done, select all of the cubes, Ctrl J to join them into one mesh, Ctrl A, rotation and scale. Do this before using the bevel tool to get the perfect 45 degree angle corners. Tap to enter the edit mode, enable edge selection, select any edge, Ctrl B and move the mouse to bevel the edge. Left click to confirm. And do this randomly to some of the edges. Now let's switch to the vertex select. Select any vertex, Ctrl B to bevel, left click to confirm, open the bevel tab at the bottom, switch to vertices and change the width. This allows to bevel vertices too. I will switch back to the edge select and bevel more edges. Ok, I'm done. Tap to exit the edit mode. This will be our base rock mesh. With the mesh selected, go to the modifiers tab, add modifier, remesh. It combines all of the overlapping cubes into one solid mesh and all of the mesh faces are now even sized quads. Let's change the voxel size to something like 0.04 to increase the poly count for the sculpting and apply the remesh modifier. Now you can see how nicely the whole mesh is made out of even sized quads and is ready for sculpting. Let's open the sculpting tab. Choose the scrape tool, set hardness to something like 0.6 and by using left click sculpt the mesh. Try to round the edges randomly. You can use F to change the brush size. Let's sculpt all of the sharp edges like that. Just scrape all of the sharp corners and don't be afraid to do it fast. It doesn't need to be perfect. It is just a randomly shaped rock. To fill in the corners like that, hold Ctrl and use the left click to fill in the corner. Hold Shift to smooth it out. I usually like to smooth these inner corners by holding shift instead of using Ctrl. Now by using these shortcuts, sculpt the whole rock mesh. Ok, I'm happy with the rock shape. Let's go back to the layout tab, Shift D to duplicate the mesh, right click to confirm at the default position, M, new collection, call it backup. We moved the duplicated mesh to a new backup collection, just in case. Let's hide the backup collection and continue the tutorial. To see the rock shape better, Disable the floor, switch lighting to matte cap and choose this one. Also enable the cavity and set volley to 0. 
so we can see all of the rock edges much better. Now let's make it a low poly mesh. Select the rock, open the modifiers tab and add a decimate modifier. Set the ratio to as low as 0.01. Here you can see the poly count of the mesh if we apply the modifier. So let's apply it and add it again. Now since the mesh is much lower poly, the slider is more responsive and we have easier control over it. I will aim for a poly count that is lower than 200. Use the ratio slider and see what looks the best. Ok, this looks pretty good. Right click, shade auto smooth. The mesh is smoothed out based on the angle of the edges. We can control it based on the edge angle here in the object data properties tab. Let's change the auto smooth angle and see how it looks. I like 20 the most. Go back to the modifiers tab. Again, you can try to play with the ratio and see what looks the best. Look around and see if you have any strange polygons. And mess around with a slider to fix or improve those polygons. I actually ended up with a pretty clean looking mesh. Once you are happy, apply the decimate modifier. Now look around and see what can be fixed or improved by hand. I don't like how this part looks, so let's fix it. Tab to enter the edit mode, switch to the vertex select. I will select this vertex, GG to move the vertex along the edge and move it on top of the other vertex like that. Left click to confirm. I think this looks better now. Now we have two overlapping vertices here. To fix that, A to select all vertices, right click, merge vertices by distance. And they are merged into one vertex. Let's look around to see what I can improve more. Ok, I want to fix this inner corner. So again, GG, slide a vertex down. and merge overlapping vertices together. So I want to make this one edge sharp. Switch to the edge selection, select the edge, right click, mark sharp. If I exit the edit mode, you can see that now this edge is sharp. By using this tool, I can choose which edges I want to make sharp. Don't forget that you can also control auto smooth angle here. Here I found another corner that I want to improve by moving the vertex. and making a few more edges sharp. And that's it! I'm happy with my low poly rock mesh. It turned out great! Thank you for watching! Please leave a comment below, like the video if you like and subscribe if you want to see more.